Some people ask me sometimes, why don't you give altar calls? How come you don't have people come up? Because I know, I think I maybe could. I can learn techniques to manipulate you emotionally, do things with lights and music and stories. And I can have you feel like, oh man, I love that story. And you're gonna come up here and you're gonna be convinced that maybe because in an emotional moment, you came up to a certain place that you really believe. No, I think what happened is in an emotional moment, you were like, man, that feels like really good. And I think I wanna do it. But the question is, I don't know if God did that. There's an old story about... Um, George Finney, who used to guarantee people that if he came and preached, that X thousand would be converted because he knew how to do this in massive crowds. And um, I think Finney understood this later in his career. He was actually somewhere and some drunk came up to him and goes, Pastor Finney, I heard you preach. And I am one of your converts. And Finney looked at him and said, well, you may well be one of my converts, but it doesn't look like you're one of God's. Now look, that doesn't mean that believers never do stupid things and get drunk again, all right? But if it's the practice of your life to never cling to the goodness of God and go to war against sin, it ought to really make you wonder if you understand the goodness of God. You are saved not because of anything that you do, but because of what has been done, there is an active, ongoing work of God in your life. I do the best I can to make sure the message is excellent, but at the end of the day, it's gonna be a work of God. I want, and God's gotta do it. Some people go, the scripture says this, him he foreknew, he predestined, those he predestined, he called, those he called, he glorified. And some people go, man, you telling me, Todd, I can't come unless I called? Yes, I'm telling you that. You, you got nothing that you can do unless God does an efficacious work of grace in your life. And so you go, well, how do I know that, that I have that? Answer, come. And when you come, you know that you came because of the grace of God. That's why you're not arrogant if you're the preacher and people come, and you're not arrogant if you come and look at other people who are still deaf to the world. You thank God that he has shown you what only God can show you, that he has brought you out of the death of sin.